check and make sure the gates are open. We can't let anything slow the ambulance down. You're not three minutes, I'm taken. No, you could make it worse, son. You don't know how much damage the bullet did. You could be bleeding inside. It makes sense now. Wait, stay beside him at the carnival. He almost died trying to save Morgan's life. If you needed a transplant, I would have told you. Yeah, but you didn't. You stood by and watched while he... My son went undercover to go against me. Your son is an excellent cop. Sonny, he's dedicated. He's incorruptible. He never would have stopped until this case was closed. This, this is all wrong, Olivia. You, you should have told me. Thank God. Thank God. I'm going to go get, the, get them in here. Don't let him die. Hey, you got to understand. I just, this would not have happened if I knew. We're a lot alike, and in a lot of ways, I mean, you're gonna get through this. How do you know this man? I'm his mother. How many times was he shot? Once. Did he hit his head? Uh, not that I know of. Sonny, did he hit his head? He just, he just fell from the bullet. Does he have any pre-existing medical conditions? Um, a concussion from when he just fell on a fire escape when he was 10. Um, a, a broken arm in high school. Um, he keeps himself in good shape. He doesn't smoke. Social drinker. Um, overall, he's very helpful. I think that the, the christening was fine, but the gown was just gorgeous. Hey, Lulu, do you think I could sell Kate on the idea of doing a layout on baby gowns? They're coming back. Um, given the sacred intent of the ceremony, I, I, I'm not sure that the gown was the most important element. Excuse me, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? On behalf of the Jacks family, I'd like to invite you all to a reception at the Jacks home. Congratulations. Hi, I'm sorry I can't make the reception. Oh, well, that's okay. Must be a pretty important arbitration you're doing. Well, it is, and I've already asked for a long recess. I don't want to push my luck. Okay, well, thanks for making it to the ceremony. That's what we do. I'm so happy for you, really. I am. I love you. Oh, thank you. Mm. you. for confirmation, Michael. Okay. You know, I'm really glad you're taking care of this. I know you hate Dad, but you'd never want him to go to prison. I mean, it would be terrible for Mom and for me and Morgan. Yeah. Anyway, I really appreciate your help. Don't worry. Well, I hope that was not what it looked like, telling a bald-faced lie to your stepson. It's my job to protect my family, okay? Even if that means losing everything. I don't want Jocelyn to grow up with fear, okay? I don't want her to grow up with bodyguards following her around like Michael and Morgan. I want her to have a good life. Even if her parents are at war, what kind of life is that? Oh, you know what? It's done. Sonny's being arrested at any moment now. Well, I'm sure he deserves it, but I, I can't help but feeling sorry for Michael and Morgan. Well, for all of it, really. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Carly's gonna know about my involvement, and Michael's gonna know that I lied to him. Thank you for being Jocelyn's godfather. You were great. It wasn't that difficult. It was for you. I know you didn't want to do it, but you did it for me. And I love you. You're welcome. You know, I can't believe Sonny didn't come. The boys missed him. He loves things like this. Well, something must have come out. Yeah, or maybe he decided to keep his distance and let this day be about the future. Sam, uh, uh, maybe the 
vague threats to your little sister is the exact opposite of romantic. Hey, I can't believe you went along with this. I can't either. I just want to get home before Mom eats all the cake. You're supposed to give me a ride. Then what are we doing here? Yeah. Just look around. Wouldn't this be a great place for a wedding? Okay, we need to get back to that house. Mm -hmm. You know, Jason, you're an extremely romantic, if slightly tragic character, but you could be a little more flexible. He's a guy, not a character. <laughs> this is none of your business. Well, can't you just picture a lovely, intimate wedding? The organ playing Bach, Maxie, Christine, and me as bridesmaids. And if you want, I could read Byron or Edna St. Vincent Millay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Jason and I are not getting married. Can we go to the party now? But, Sam, <laughs> life is short and filled with peril, especially for you two. So carpe diem, seize the day. Hello, now's the moment to propose. Wow, look at all those Spencers. Someone take a picture. Uh, looks heavy on the family bonding there, niece. Jax is opening champagne. Uh, there's also um, sparkling cider, in case anyone's interested. Sparkling cider? Not today, thanks. <laughs> well, I blame Elizabeth for all this. Well, you may not be in a position to throw stones. Given all the men and marriages with your tire tracks across their back. Now, that's not criticism. Mm. It's just the caution not to judge. Okay, so the difference is that Carly doesn't claim to be anyone's angel, whereas Elizabeth did. Maxie, I understand things are going very well for you. Matt must be proud. Thank you. Maxie is, is indeed coming into her own. should have heard something by now. That's a remote stretch of road. It could take a while to find a car that goes flying off a hairpin curve. Have you guys heard from Dad? He's been picking up. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, go enjoy the party. Jason or anybody else anytime soon, and if I do, it's going to be my decision. I don't need to hear from my little sister. So you haven't completely ruled out marriage to Jason at some indefinite time in the future. Oh, Molly. Uh. You know, we should probably drop this. Just respect what your sister wants, right? Certainly. But I still get to be a bridesmaid, right? to save your son's life. You need to tell me now. Dante is your son. Does anyone know? Your parents? I kept it a secret his entire life to keep him from winding up where he is right now. Why not tell him? Maybe you made it happen. If he can hear us right now, he needs to know that he's going to live. Not whose fault it is if he got shot. What's wrong? He's an eye of shot. Lulu, you're trying to hide it, but I know you're obsessing about Dominic. He was supposed to be at the christening, and he would not miss this party. He knows how much it means to me. He's just not answering his phone. That's a little unsettling. No doubt the audacious one was pulled into last-minute service by Mr. Sir. <sighs> Carly and Jack sure know how to throw a party. <laughs> nice ambiance. You know, Carly told me that this is her dream house. Really? Yeah. I haven't even lifted anything yet. I mean, I might be losing my touch. You know what? Maybe you should be the uh, upstanding Spencer for a while. I'm taking a sabbatical. And I appreciate the fact that you're not trying to stop me. Oh, well, right. as long as you let me drive. Deal. Uh, can I have everyone's attention, please? 